Hey there everyone, Avesh here and welcome to another exciting video series that we are about to start. This is the very first video and in the upcoming few videos, just expect this series to be continued. The most important thing is what we are going to build in this series. In this series, we are going to build up an amazing and awesome website. The goal is not to be focused too much on to the beautify part of the website, rather like design and all these things. I do have a separate course on modern UI design using Bootstrap for that. So we will not be focusing on that much, but still we are not gonna be like that much deviated. That website should look ugly. It's gonna look decent and that's the whole goal. The entire website you're gonna see here is bootstrappy. It's gonna look bootstrappy as well. I haven't touched much on the design part there, but the functionality wise, you're gonna learn all the modern things in this particular project. First and foremost, yes, of course, this is an e-commerce project, fully functional, fully fledged, and you can do all kind of adding to the cart, adding products, deleting the products, checking out and all of that. So this is what we'll be building up. Now, this is the website that is on the local host, and this is the website which is hosted on Netlify.com, a pretty popular service in case you have heard about Heroku, Netlify, these are kind of a, in all same community. So we will be hosting that as well. And this is going to be our final end product that we'll be building up after this entire series. So as you can see, a nice logo on the left hand side, some of the uh, buttons here, which goes on to homepage, about page, uh, contact page, uh, about services, all of that. So this is what we are having. Don't worry the about page. Uh, the technology that we are using behind is like ridiculously fast and at the time when this page is not being loaded, it just serves an SVG of that image that makes it ridiculously fast. So after that, we are having this nice center section in which we are going to touch a little bit about the Flexbox, not much, but a little bit. And that's how we're going to get all this. Looks pretty nice. And one more thing, with this entire uh, entire project, I'll be giving you all the source code as well as some of the custom designed graphic asset as well, which you can use in any of your commercial projects as well, some of them. Okay, I'll mention them as well. After that, we are having this our story section, which is a totally modular section. What I mean by modular section, that means you're gonna see this section quite repetitive here, like this section and this section is exactly same. We haven't written double code for it. It's what written just once and then we can use it as many time as we like. And of course, this our story button, this is what we'll be designing. The goal here is to understand how the modular projects are being designed, how the components are designed in React. I'll come back onto the technology stack that we'll be using uh, for this entire course uh, in the next video, but right now let me just brief you the project. So we are more focused on the component-based designing of a project so that we can reuse these components. After that, we are having this amazing course section. We use almost this kind of a thing at our website as well, but the filtering is not there yet. So when I click on mobile, it gives me only the mobile projects. Uh, when Python, it gives me only the Python-based courses. All gives you the all of them. So not a big deal, pretty easy filtering stuff. It's not very high end as well. Again, a repetitive section of the component that we are having. Then we are having a section for a special bundle deal where you can opt for a bundle. When you click on buy now, it just gets added to your cart. You can add this thing, you can move on to the next checkout, billing, payment method. These are all here. We're gonna be implementing all of this. At the bottom, we are having another section, which is again, pretty much modular and you can customize it however you like. Uh, you can customize maybe images, maybe this, and there's gonna be a lot of assignments involved in this project as well, which are always fun to do. And at the end, we have got this footer section as well, which again is totally customizable. So this is the basic overview of project. When I move on to the contact screen, we have this contact here. How can we help? Again, a modular section that we saw on the page one. Then we have a contact page which says name, email, phone number, description, which uh, actually goes to your email, whatever the email you like, whether Gmail, Yahoo, it's actually totally working. So that's, and again, a footer, which we don't have to reapply. It was created just once and we are importing the components almost every page. And you can also notice a theme on this web page. So within just like one edit, you can change the entire theme of this entire website. If you're connected with me on Instagram, you might have noticed that previously this entire project was purplish color. Now we have moved into the, the bootstrappy info color. But surely if you want to make it red or maybe blue or maybe uh, green, whatever you like, you can do that in just one, one single edit. And that's the whole idea that how we can move into such a phase that we have, we can reduce 
the code as less as possible. So that's the one thing. And uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about the stack of this website as well. Now, one more thing that you might notice, this is on Netlify, but the most important thing about this project is the continuous build cycle. And this is one of the things which I think everybody should know by now that once you push your project onto the GitHub or Bitbucket or any other service, there are some integration that we can do that as soon as we push the project, automatically a build is being started. Uh, Netlify helps us to do that. And they just change everything live in, in front of us. So all we have to do is open up our uh, code editor, hit the push onto the GitHub and that's it, that's all it does. And again, don't worry if you are confused about the terms like React, components, GitHub, Netlify. If these are all jargon, that's also totally okay. That's totally fine for this series. You can still continue with me. What I need basic is the basics of JavaScript and that's it. Rest I'll take care and I'll cover. So in the next video, we're gonna take down what is the goal behind the series and what is the technology of stack that we'll be using for this entire series. So I hope you are gonna be enjoying this series and I hope you'll invite your friends as well to understand something new, learn something new and build this full-fledged project. The least you're gonna get from this entire course is awesome amount of knowledge. That's it for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video.